Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Today's beverage is a nice cup of green tea. So in a previous video of Workers and Resources, I was getting to grips with the game and this was the end result. It's basically a coal-fired power plant with all of the supply chain going from the coal mines to processing all of the conveyor systems. We then have, I mean, we can't really call it a city. It's more two tower blocks connected with a load of footpaths, but at least is in and has some very basic amenities like a grocery store and a standard store and some schooling over here basic transport network via bus route so we've got a bus there bus station there and a bus station over there this is our sub town i guess this is basically the coal town where you've got again two coal mines there a couple of tower blocks etc and overall i was quite enjoying it it didn't fully grip me because i didn't get all of the all the mechanics down and still don't but i thought it was okay with the typical caveats obviously it wasn't finished and you got rough edges here and there there was an update between the recording and releasing of that video which i did put in the uh, in the comments as well and it's it's just like bug fixes and things like that and also i believe there is now a different type of infrastructure you've now got a cable way so we can actually use cable way from transporting stuff from this uh, coal processing facility and down to the power plant but we're probably well we'll see if we're going to change that or not but anyway I didn't actually plan on doing a series, and I think I stated in that video that I wasn't going to do one. Well, it looks like I'm going to renege on that promise because this is a bit of a mini-series, full series. I have no idea because, just like a dog with a chemistry set, I have no idea what I'm doing. More than usual, normally I have some very, very small degree of competence, but at this stage, mm, not so much. So, just like the real USSR, this thing could collapse at any moment. We could have a failure because of mismanagement, massive overspending, and probably a bit of corruption as well. So, this could be a couple of episodes long, longer. I really have no idea. We could go bankrupt at any point. It could all be completely wrong and people riot. I have no idea, but it is about the journey, not the destination. And, to be fair, a lot of people requested that we play more of this as well, to be fair, I was playing it anyway, so may as well do a bit of a series on it. But as I said, if it's all kind of wrong, then please just bear in mind that I have forewarned yourself. So anyway, let's see what we can do. So I think what we need to do really is get more people working in these coal mines because, as you can see, there's lots of slots and there's very few people. So we're going to change this around here. This episode will probably be about mm, altering and changing things and fixing stuff. At the moment, we do have... How many rubles do we have? 2.2 million and we are making money by uh, via exporting uh, some power but obviously we're not exporting much because we don't have the coal so it's all about the supply so what i'm going to do is unpause the game and i want to change the pathing around here so we're going to go over to infrastructure and then to roads we go to the standard asphalt road and from this point here we're going to sort of cut right across like so and then do the same thing on that side and then i will delete all of these other roads because quite frankly i don't think it is strictly necessary let's get rid of all of these can't delete because it's no more vehicles running across the crossing Yes, I know. Delete all of these and these and these and I'll delete that. It says small store, so I know to put a small store back into the building. Let's hope that actually connects up. I think it will when we go away and uh, move the screen. And it has not, but it does seem to function and that's all we really care about. Very apt, <laughs> considering the game. Uh, let's go over to... it was... construction? equipment for citizens and a small store i believe that is a grocery store so yes it is a small store and i'm going to guess i can fit it in here and it looks to be correct let's just place it in there just level the land up and there we go that's now placed in and i believe once we have that built yes we can see that citizens are able to walk across there speaking of walking let's go back to infrastructure over to the footpaths and a standard footpath and we want to have a footpath so Instead of coming down here and along, we're going to connect up a footpath to... Well, actually, I'm going to connect up a footpath right the way across from there to here so they can get off the bus and walk there, and this one will just do that, so there we are. So that's fine, and the reason I wanted to do that is now we have a sort of flat bit here where we can place loads of, loads of tower blocks along here, so let's do that. Let's get some more citizens, so construction residential buildings and we're going to go for the biggest flats prefab which is 189 workers so it's quite a large building and we'll place it on the left hand side here and i'm just rotating it so it's roughly level with the road there i'm speaking level we'll level off the ground and then i'll rotate this around and we'll have it so it's facing the center there so we'll be able to get two in as like that uh, and one click and it's in rotate this round so it's now at the back be a little bit different this time 
going to have it placed about there. This is going to require a lot of levelling of the land, and to be fair, we might not be able to fit another one in, but I'll try. Uh, it looks like it is, but it's just going to have to uh, raise the land a bit there. I hope we don't have some subsidence on that one. You notice there we've got a last chance to buy some vehicle here. It looks like Columbo's car. <laughs> Uh, it's not, but it does remind me of Columbo's car. We will uh, burn this remove from history. People did point out in the previous video that, yes, we say, no, I don't see any any transport other than public transport. That's because you specifically have to make car dealerships and such. Public ownership of vehicles is very, very, um, very few and far between. At this stage, there's none. Let's go over to Asphalt Road here. And we're going to bring this down, and that should... Uh, hold right mouse button to flatten. That is now in, and there we are. And then these will just connect up in the centre like so, and that's job done. Same thing for this side. This is where we will have some problems, or he anticipates problems. No, actually not. We No problems whatsoever. That is now fine, and because of that, we now have probably another close to, well, 700 citizens, I'm guesstimating. And yes, you can see that the amount of people working in the coal mine is going up. That is excellent. Obviously, we don't have a lot of things that we need, so you can see it says it can't work because there's no kindergarten or places available. If we go to kindergarten over here, we can see that actually there are there are several people there, kin uh, uh, kindergartners? That's not a thing. Uh, there's babies there. One, two, three, four, five babies there. So they'll have to get on the bus, and I'm guessing that's something we just can't afford. So I think we'll probably put a kindergarten over here. So I think the general rule of thumb is basically plonk down all of your basic amenities. So things like the ability to get food and water and uh, some basic stuff and have some basic recreation stuff within walking distance and anything else you get on public transport. Ooh, that won't move quickly. So there we go, that's now sorted. Let's go over to education related and a kindergarten, and we'll place a kindergarten over here. So it will go in there. That will level up the land, uh, level up, level out the land, and we'll do the same thing with a school, and we'll just place it back here. Obviously we will have to connect it up, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Over to infrastructure, to the roads here, we'll connect the road up. Oh, road's already in, but we will go over to our footpaths here, and obviously we will have to connect up the footpaths. We'll connect one up there, or across to there, and to be honest, we can even go in the background here if we want to. What I'm going to do is probably, probably just do that. That's not unreasonable. Let me actually delete that previous footpath, because it's not really necessary, and then we'll go up to there. And job done. We could join this up like so, but it's just going to go across the road there. And I probably want to extend the road, although realistically, if we're honest with each other, the road ain't going to go down there, is it? Uh, it actually can. It can actually go down there. So I will probably run that road down there preemptively. And same for that one. Let's just do something like that. And we know that we can exp expand down there if we wanted, and we'll obviously connect that up as well. It will require some levelling of the land, which I don't know if it's going to be possible. Oh, it was possible for a moment there, and then decided that it wasn't. There we go, that's now in. We'll go back over to our public footpaths, and then this time we will be able to... Oh, we can't connect it up there and there. We can, yes we can. And then we'll say right across, public footpaths right across there, and then over to there, and then to there. And that's pretty much sorted. We'll connect that up to the road. Connect that up to the road. And wow, you've seen the amount of people that are leaving these areas here and going to the store and things like that. Are these, we're not producing, whatever we're selling here, we're selling, what is it, meat and uh, meat and food. But we are not fewer sellers than required. Why is, why is there not any sellers there? That's strange. I would have thought there'd be more than enough people working. Hmm. Um, if we go over to purchase using rubles... That is an auto purchase. I am going to increase the tonnage though, because there's just loads of people going there now, so that's fine. This one, we've got electronics and clothes. That's the only thing we can do. Increase clothes, increase electronics. There we go. Same thing down there eventually will alter that. But we got things like. Now what we can't get because of kindergarten. Kindergarten is now in, so this should hopefully go down. One thing I know that we don't have for definite is we don't have any spiritual places and churches and that sort of thing, so we'll sort that out. Let's just check the buses and... Whoa! See the amount of people there waiting for the bus, actually? Yes, there, are, there is some passengers waiting. Oh, there are some passengers waiting. So what we're going to do is buy a new vehicle, and we went with the Zill because that's the one I... Uh, 
That's the one I knew the name of. So we'll copy from a previous bus like so and we can see that's now good so we'll just say accept and then that bus should come up the depot and then follow the same route. I don't know if there's a quick way to add or remove routes from multiple buses. If there is, I don't know what it is and I really do. <laughs> it's really a bit of a problem there. So, in terms of spiritual needs, we do need to get that sorted. So, actually, now let's check the main need, which is coal. And, ah, there we go. We can see that our workers are going up there, which is excellent. However, have we got an excess in there? Percentage of oh, production is going up. That is really, really good. And we can increase or decrease production. We can see we're outputting the coal there. We can see that this is still producing in terms of buying with the rubles we don't have auto purchase and we're not manual purchasing anything so that is fine and you can see the coal supply is actually pretty good so why is this not producing anymore what if we say let's start exporting yeah if we ramp up our export we means we can make more money and that's good because we need money because we've already spent a fair bit here but it also means that yeah, this is ramping up there. I mean, if we just say 100%? No. Maximum wattage? No, we don't want to export 100%. No, that's, that seems to be working now. Still. It's adding the... Sh oh, can you... Exp yeah, that's expanded. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also need to get some more... I think it will... Uh, more educated citizens. Let's see if we can do that. What we'll do for that is go to construction, residential, flats prefab. Slightly different. We're not going to get citizens, okay? You can say get citizens automatically, but I don't want to get citizens. Instead, I will do them. Uh, I'll do it another way. So I'll probably place this in here, which I think is a reasonable place for a prefab so that'll go in there we will close that this doesn't hold many people but it should be enough for our needs and then we'll connect up the footpath because we tend to be doing that and actually is there really any point in doing that uh, might as well and this time instead what we'll do is we can get you've got age workers babies it's, it's the amount of people in there that sort of thing on car owners zero we can go for Immigrants experts from the Soviet bloc. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 30 experts because I believe when you have experts, it's um, it's it's better. And you Well, some of these buildings do need that. Anyway, so that is our expert building. And oh my good grief, the money, the lack of. Let's go over to construction. Over to where would we be? It would be equipment from citizens, I'm going to guess. So, car dealer, city hall, radio station, hospital. We don't have a hospital, actually, so it'll be good to get one of those in, but I think... Do we want to put that now? We probably do, but it will be a case of you get on the bus to visit it. I mean, if your hand is bleeding, then probably suboptimal, but, well, needs must. Actually, cinema, pub... Where do we have, like... Spiritual buildings. Grocery, small store, shopping centre, small shopping centre, cinema, pub, tennis ground. Yeah, we don't have fires on. Radio station, pollution monitoring system. Probably just around here, you just run your hand through the air and you'll get a small coating of soot there. Car dealer and city hall. So I'm not seeing that. Medical University, Technical University, Hostels, Headquarters for Communist Party, University Halls for Residents, etc. More train terminals and other things. So, can we know? Not going to be various industry. Plastics factory. Well, that's more of an advanced thing. It's not in storage and warehouses. Not going to be in engineering. NG related. No, we've got a coal power plant. So, unless it is under here hmm guess I'll I've either missed it or it's somewhere else warehouse and road cargo station I will look for that for next episode I won't take up too much of our time that's now producing more which is good maximum production per day is 1400 megawatts that's per day wattage is 9.4 see the grid there and we're 
we are sending at the moment 8.9. I'm going to put it down to 80% because I assume that these, well, these do require power, I know that, but I don't want to have it so that the people don't have any power. Okay, that's now fine. So, in terms of money, we do need to make some more money. And probably the best way of doing it is by exporting. You click on this customs house and you can see the type of things that you can export. And we have a fairly decent track of land here where we could probably start to farm things and export the food. Not only that, but we can also then bring it on trucks to the stores. Because these are very small stores. So, that should be okay for us. Let's do that, I think. So, over to where would it be where food and crops related so you got a big field and grain storage there's a big field and we can place them around here i don't know if this is a a fairly good area to farm but it does seem to be a fairly flat area which is our main takeaway here so let's place it in hmm, we have to think about i was gonna say we have to think about expansion but to be honest i don't think we're gonna run out of space too much i think what we'll do is we'll place it a little bit out of the way perhaps hmm, do we want to place it well out of the way over here would be quite good and then we'll connect up with a road in fact we'll have to we'll have a train that'll do it so there's a big field big field and need flat terrain. I can't alter that terrain, but I can place it there. There's three fields, so that's now in. Each one of these, it says, workers in field, no. Sowing progress. I don't know what they're going to harvest. I actually no, I don't have any idea of what they produce. But there you are. Pub, distillery, food factory. We do need a food factory. Although we could just... Uh, send out grain that could be an option let's go over to our infrastructure here over to the roads there i'm going to build an asphalt road that will just go straight across uh, actually no maybe not let's put it a little bit closer because it is uh, these fields are deceptively large might not look like the big but they are we also need to buy some farm buildings as well so what we'll do is we'll have the road from there we'll have it go across and then just go straight across to here i don't think that is unreasonable i'll put it there and that is now in we will have to have a train track we'll put something like that in at a later stage so that's now sorted so we need people working here so the problem again is that they'll need food and clothing and all of that sort of thing we also need power so let's bring some power over to that luckily we do have this switching station which means we can run some small power lines over there so over to our medium voltage there and then to the medium voltage wires i'm going to run some of these medium voltage wires over here to about actually what i'll do might be a bad plan but i'm going to run it right next to the road because it means that well it's just following the same path so we'll put it to there i'm not going to go much further than that because i don't know exactly what i need obviously i need to connect that up to electrical substation at some stage but we'll see what we're like is that still being constructed it does still state that it's being constructed although there we go it's now finally completed so no one works in this one phil is not assigned to any farm so we do need a farm so let's go ahead and do that this is the first time outside of the tutorial which was a recent edition that i've done this so learning all the way so agro farm so i'm guessing we just place it wherever yeah click hang on click right there we go once that's built and assign these fields and then i mean do people do people just want to commute to work commute here that's probably better isn't it instead of having all the other stuff i think that's probably what we'll do we'll have some connections here infrastructure road mm. <laughs> um i can't delete that road if i delete that road it's not going to go well Hmm, I think whatever I do, it's going to be a weird shape. Go on, then we'll do that. Right, so that's now in. So, we need to... Oh, we see they've, they can walk to there. That's fine. No tractors available to plant seed. No tr vehicles able to harvest. No trucks available. There are no fields assigned. So, one, two, three. So, there's the three fields. It says sowing. 
Don't know what we're sowing the field with. But we'll find out. We need to buy a new vehicle. So. No tractors available to plant seed. So. Sowing. There's the tractors. We are on 1970. So having a 1963 tractor would be probably a false economy. We'll go for the latest one. One tractor. I don't know if we need one tractor per field. Let's work on one each for now. No trucks available. Let's go with the... I mean, does it really matter? East Germany, Czechoslovakia, Polish trucks there. I mean, in terms of cost. Just checking the empty weight. Four tons, 80 kilometres, 82 kilometres. Hmm. I guess we'll go for... That's quite expensive, but also outdated a bit as well. Seven tons. That's a big truck. Covered trailer. Go with one of those. So those are now in. We now just do... We need to connect up the power, and we need to get some people working here. Oh, there we go. See that? It's moving along, and it does actually say sewing. That's good. Okay, immediately then. No vehicles able to harvest. Buy new vehicles. Harvesting. We'll go with that harvester. So that's all done. Without power supply, yes, we're, no, we're aware. Uh, another tractor. That should do for now. Uh, three tractors. Go on. Go on. We'll have three tractors. We can always sell if we need to. Over to our power. So it'll be medium voltage wires, electrical distribution. And we'll connect that up to the road in here like so and then what I'll do is go for infrastructure medium wires again and I think instead of what I'm going to do is go there and then along back here and then you can basically build up like a 45 degree angle like that and then there we go that's now connected so power is coming over here it looks like that's working mechanisms working at the farm just says mechanisms, so I have no idea what the deal is there because it just is working. But at least it's in. We can see the trucks of uh, the the the, um, the tractors. That's what I, that's the thing I was searching for. And now cracking on. So that is sowing. Then it's growing, and then it's harvesting. Now I don't know whether or not. It just says crops. That's all we're doing. We just uh, auto search. Uh, yeah, so it's done. Voltage 230 volts, zero megawatts. So not even a light bulb on there. But that seems to be working. In terms of walking, that's good. I will put a bus station here. Let's go to infrastructure, and then to hmm, roads, bus platform, standard. That's actually. Hmm, do you want a small one or do you want a standard one here? We'll place, I mean, normally we've got we've got a small one over the other side, but I think probably best off going for a slightly bigger one. That's now in. We will also go for probably a little bit of a footpath to connect up to there, and it can't. So I guess we can just do that and then walk around and in if anyone needs to. And there we go. So that is fine. We just need to have people working and walking. So we need more people working there. That's fine. How we're we doing over here? You can see that there are people working there, and these are all full and such. And they're unable to enjoy culture or spirituality. I'll probably put a cinema in actually, because we haven't got a cinema. So let's go ahead and do that. So over to construction, education related. Mm, what wouldn't be in there unless it's an educational film. So it would be a pub. We've got a pub. Although I don't think these guys can access the pub. Mm, they can't because the pub is over there, I think. That is the pub, yes. So we'll put a pub in. Place a pub. I guess we can put it here. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Pub. And a cinema. Oh, that's right, yeah. Cinema's quite large. I'm guessing a cinema here isn't too bad. I think a cinema would fit in. There we go. And I believe everybody should be able to walk there. Infrastructure, footpaths. There we go. 
And you can just walk along here. Some sort of maverick architect there that <laughs> wants to put that in. But, pub is in. Alcohol. We got some libations going on. A couple of beverages. Missing staff. We don't have the right number of staff here. But it is powered, I believe. It is powered by the substation, yes. There is one visitor waiting and no staff. Don't tell me that we simply... We really don't have any staff that can work there. Do we need more? Hang on. Huh. There's health need. We need to sort that out. Yes, we now have a member of staff there. Ah, oh, there we go. It's started to work. And wattage going up. Excellent. Okay. So how are we doing for the power plant? Power plant is working fine. Production per day is really low. I wonder why. I mean, we have people working there. Oh, well. Not too sure, but... Looks like we're producing more coal than we can process. See that there? It popped up and said we can't export. So I'm guessing we are just using as we're using as much as we can. I thought production percentage would have gone up. Let's knock that up a bit. There we are. That's selling. Import. Hang on, export mode should we Oh, you can only have one or the other. That makes perfect sense, to be fair. Um, we don't want 100%. That would be just silly. Let's go for that percentage. Let's have a look at our fields. Looks like they are half sown, which is good. Everything's all right with this farm, so it says. And we have this in, but we don't have any buses going from here to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a bus. We're going to go for the Zill once again. We will double-click on that, go to New Stop, and we'll have a stop from there over to there and that's all that'll do now i'm aware that this may not do anything but we'll have to have, we'll have to see just how we get on once these fields have been harvested we then we can either export that grain or we can turn it into food now there's a different place where it'll come out so there's a connection between factories there's also a forklift garage and you can see we now have forklift uh, sections so you can have forklifts going from this place elsewhere. I don't know don't know what the best thing to do would be really. Forklift garage we could have that. Sadly because of where I've placed these power lines it won't connect up. I'll have to alter that. Let me uh, probably do that later. I think realistically I'm just going to build a train station we'll just export the grain but we'll see how we get on. Right, we'll also build a cinema around here because I'm guessing a lot of these uh, are I'm able to build the church and culture. Culture, I guess you could... I guess it is done from its cinema? I mean, it would make sense. Nice cultural thing, really. Let's place it in here. Fits in quite nicely. There we go, cinema. Infrastructure. Oh, footpaths again. And... There you go. Come out of school. Straight to the... Uh, straight to the cinema. Don't need connect up that one. Connect up to that one. That looks a bit silly. Delete that footpath. And... To be fair, I don't think we need... Do we need another one? Yeah, we'll have it. They're using it, so... At least that's in. Right, so the bus... Goes along here... I like the word honks when you click on it. <laughs> Honk. Yeah, it's going back and forward. Like I said, don't think it'll do anything because it says no workers. Apparently these are fully automatic. 40% on this field. I'm guessing if you have a smaller field, it's quicker to sow and then grow and then harvest. It is March, so... Hmm. The question now becomes... Is there a system in place. Ooh, look at that. We get clothes, hospitals, electronics here. Yeah, we do need hospitals, to be fair. I wonder if there is a climate in the game and a season. I really have no idea. So, we're going to go to construction once again, and it'll be in I guess equipment for citizens. Television station, hospitals. So we'll place... Oh, no, those things are not exclusive. Let's place a hospital probably back here. 
think that's reasonable. What can it place? It will place there, but good luck actually getting the rest in. Let's place a hospital over here too. I'm hoping that it can fit in the back, but it's not going to, is it? There's no way. There is just no way. Hospital in this corner. There we go. Let's see what that's like. Well, I'm guessing that these won't have access to the hospital. No. Which is a shame. So all these people here. Actually, no, it doesn't say that we're not able to enjoy that. Because they'll be able to get walk to the bus. No, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's in. That's now in. No connections, though. So we better sort that out. And this is where I realise that it's in a massive ditch. It is in a ditch. The hospital's in a ditch. Um, oh, it will connect up. It's a bit problematic, but it will connect up. <laughs> Let's go to footpaths. And the footpath can go into there. And over to there, over to there, and over to there. There you go. And people are actually visiting hospital. Which I've got to say is a good thing. But no, visiting hospital in general, on average, is not a good thing. You're not there to take in the sights and sounds, are you? But um, at least they have access to healthcare. That hopefully won't make them bankrupt. Which is good. So. Hospitals. Expansion of the city. Lots more workers. I think we still need more tower blocks, though. We'll have to look at some of these needs. But, overall, not too bad. We have fields over here getting sown. We can see the little tractor there working along with wheels that don't rotate. Oh, and apparently the... <laughs> The farmer likes to pull handbrake turns in a tractor. Yeah, that's getting sorted. It looks like we're having a... a I was going to say a plough-off, but they're not ploughing, are they? Oh, they're ploughing. I guess they could. It's sowing. Sowing it. Looks like the middle one's going to... Well, middle one will finish first because it was the first one to start. So once that's sorted, hopefully they'll start to grow and then we'll get some crops and all of that sort of thing. So I think we will leave it there. Not too bad at this stage. I think. I mean, I have no frame of reference. I don't know if this is good, whether it's bad, whether everything's completely ruined. I have no idea. But, next episode, we'll have to start this uh, church or place of spirituality. I'll have to look into that. And we will maybe look, in, maybe look into, perhaps, let's go over to infrastructure, uh, not infrastructure, sorry, construction and oil bitumen and refinery. And maybe refine some oil. If we find oil... What we'll do is export it. I'm just trying to think where where would you place the oil refinery? Maximum daily production is 70 tons. But I don't know if like it's in a particular place. I don't know. I'll have to check that one up. See, it's all red around there. I'm guessing it's saying like there's basically no oil. Hmm. I'll have to have a check on that one. Either way, next episode we will crack on and hopefully start to make some more money. We're not yet bankrupt, which is always a good thing. We are on just under 1.6 million rubles. And I think we started with about three, maybe, maybe less, I'm not too sure. But at least this stage we haven't gone bankrupt and we are making some money at the moment. We'll see how we get on. Next episode, we will build some more stuff. As always, if you have enjoyed the video and for what it is, the series thus far, certainly comment in the comments. By all means, if there's something that I've missed, uh, something that needs to be changed, altered, that sort of thing, then let me know in the comments. And uh, constructive criticism is very much uh, well received, by all means, because this is, after all, a bit of a learning game. Um, obviously, I do... Uh, there's normally a, 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 a episode or two le uh, lag time for that by the time they've uh, been made and put out, but there you go. Anyway, next episode we will crack on and those look very concrete-y. What a surprise, they made of concrete. <laughs> next episode we'll crack on, see how we're going on there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.